deer hunting videos. In this deer hunting video, I'm in the urban zone trying to fill my last doe tag to qualify for the bonus buck tag for next year. Now I have a cellular camera running at this spot and I have not seen hardly any deer since the last deer I harvested here, so I didn't know what to expect. I tried hunting a new area of the property, walked in a different way where I did not think the deer were gonna come through first and they surprised me. They came in exactly on the trail that I walked in on and they got a little nervous. They could smell where I walked so they cut off into a thicket. I didn't think I was going to get a shot. Eventually some of them worked their way down closer to me in the thicket and popped out. I didn't really have a great shot. I drew back at one point just in case I could sneak a, a shot through. But I kept telling myself, no, wait for a really good shot. And to my surprise, they turned and started walking my way. And I was like, man, the first one that gives me an opportunity, I'm gonna shoot. Well, this doe and fawn started to come my way. And I thought, man, she's not really giving me a good angle. And then a big doe started coming from behind her a little bit, giving me a better angle. So I opted to take a shot at her. I really was rejoicing in the in the camera right there and didn't realize the other deer hadn't run off yet. There was about five or six other deer in the group and eventually about four or five went one direction. So I started to film them, which is what you're seeing here. And unbeknownst to me, two other ones were on the other side of me. They eventually kind of spooked off, but then came and circled right back around underneath me as I was getting packed up.
All right, I'm down on the ground. I'm about eight, nine yards from the tree. And this is where the deer was. And man, there is just so much blood everywhere here. I know I got a good hit on her. I could see the blood pumping out of her when she was running off. But my arrow was stuck in her because um, the steep angle, I know the broadhead hit the ground and couldn't, couldn't pass through because of the steep angle and uh, it was shooting uphill too. So I'm sure I'll find the arrow on the blood trail, but with the amount of blood that was pumping out of her as she ran off and that I have here, I think I'm in good shape. And I think I heard her crash. I'm gonna take all my stuff out to the car and then come back and track. And there's blood everywhere here, so hopefully the trail stays like this. I think I heard a crash right over the edge of this ridge here. Um, man, there was like about eight deer. I couldn't believe it, you know. Uh, so that's why we do this, because there's so many doe in the urban zone. They need to keep the population under control. There's just so much blood all through here. I'm just gonna follow it, see if I find my arrow along the way. Maybe it's even still sticking there, but. This is only 10 yards into the blood trail. All right, my arrow's out of her. I'm about 25 yards into the blood trail. And uh, I mean, she's just been pumping like crazy. I come down this steep ridge bank right here. I think she's, can't imagine she went too far. Here she is. She only made it about 50 yards exit hole low on the deer right through the heart and on the other side right behind me she's a huge doe man praise the lord so much meat big deer big even a big neck for a doe <sighs> thank you god thank you guys for tuning into this i'm gonna take care of this deer <sighs> Thank you guys for watching my videos. I did get a bow to do a bow giveaway. So if you've been following my channel, make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter. I'll send out a registration for that through my newsletter. I gotta get my tag on her and gut her out. And <sighs> this is great, thank you Jesus, thank you God. <sighs>